Now I know about you. Just ignore him. It smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. A human being decomposes. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. Mm. You seem to be holding your breath. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Um... Is there any reason I would need to be able to smell? Like, I, I mean... I also, like, it's a decomposing body, which is why it smells so bad, but... Active decay. It's okay to throw up with his arm. No one is judging. He's about to blow! Cop's gonna blow, Kuno! I mean... What, what would this possibly do for me? Whatever, it's not gonna work. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth, more instant and more familiar than anything you expected, more fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Oh my God, please don't tell me. You feel a great force ringing from your stomach. Your body curls and pushes. What was that sound at the end burst there? By burst. <laughs> Golly. Until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. The smell of Commodore Red rises from the pool. Among it, distilled spirit and bits of shish kebab. It's okay. Happens to everyone. Keep it. Don't be mean about it. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. There is Fritz nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't... He points to the greenhouse. There's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Hmm. Pretty clever. <laughs> wow okay a, a check just to say like oh this guy's pretty smart okay here's the wheelbarrow lady you tell me about the rcm in martinez what can i help you with okay i see you i see you yeah i mean what you trying to get into you know what i mean we don't see a lot of police around here, that's all. Of course. What can I help you with? Sure, I'm done with it. Go easy on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. Thank you, appreciate you, you know? Of course, I won't hold you back. Nah, nah, you'd never hold me back, baby. If there's a corpse, then you're going to need those gloves for the autopsy. Um... Sure, keep them. I have another pair. Cool. See, you, you and Lena, real dope people, man. Alright, so how do I... There, he still is, looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. Emitting it is all it does now. Um, so how do I... Plus one has ammonia. Okay. The ammonia only makes it worse. The combination forces tears out of your ducts. You manage to keep it in once. The second time, 
Not so much. When the vomiting is done, your cheeks are wet with tears. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> what is that part at the end? Nor does the wind right now. Feel the Lieutenant pat your back rhythmically. Okay. I've seen strong men turn themselves inside out for hours. You are facing tough odds here. Alcohol withdrawal makes it considerably harder. I've seen captains puke their guts out. It never gets easier. You never get used to the smell. Every Monday is cadaver day. Throw up, investigate. Throw up, initial autopsy. Throw up, baguette. Then drive to the station. Maybe throw up on the way there if you didn't bag the thing tight enough. Yeah, you seem fine. I think I've lost my sense of smell. A white lie. Mm. Not being hungover helps too. <laughs> he said, "Okay." Said, said she wants. Said she want to throw jabs. That's probably a good idea. Clear our head. But before we can do that, he withdraws his hand from your back and looks you in the eye. You need to get your shit together. <laughs> Down. He's like, hey, you drunk? You lost your badge? You don't know what you're doing? What, what's going on, brother? We should go talk to the locals. Find something else to do while the wind changes. It's pretty bad right now. You've gained a thought. When this dialogue is over, go to your thought cabinet and internalize it with special bonuses and effects. Okay. Give it half an hour. Get yourself together. Then come back and have another go. Okay, what's where's this thought you're talking about? Thought cabinet, internalize. THC? Well, huh? <laughs> so much going on. Is this your whip, bro? Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number. 57. It, it did talk about some car that he recognized the sound Vapor of. emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This must be the infernal machine that toy from oblivion. The Caprice Kinema motor carriage. Uh, I mean, I guess. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Okay. A scent of leatherwork and heavy fuel oils washes over you. Uh, the radio. The frequency tabler lights up, and a green button labeled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. And then you hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens Radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Okay, so this is my car. I was wondering. This is my car. Well, yeah, I think so. This is my car. Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. Wait, Precinct 57. Oh, so this is your car. Operating the radio is easy. Just be confident. You've probably done it a thousand times. Um, hi, Alice. This is the officer from the very 41st Precinct speaking. Nice to meet you. This is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Tell me my name. <laughs> Under the green prime line, a yellow saved button catches your eye. You wonder what the lieutenant's default radio station is. I don't know if I wanted that one. Let's do this one. Of course. What is her number, officer? Yes, hold on. Her number is 005-1944-298. Good deal. Received. Hold on, officer. She's kind of cute. This is your girl, Cam? Is 
Is this your chick? Wait patiently, Lieutenant brother. Lieutenant Kitsuragi slowly begins to tap a little rhythm with his right foot. Quite a lot of time has passed. Oh my gosh. Hello, sir. I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Yes, hello? She looks sad. <laughs> Very sad. Um, I, I feel like we were there for days when we were supposed to be working. So no one that works there is going to think of me as a friend. Except good old Lena. Bless her heart. All right. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? Well, she, she, she kind of, she kind of had like a happier tone. Um, she quit? I just thought she took the day off. Let's butter her up first. You mean, why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. Okay. Um. Why not? Right. This is, like, kind of intimidating, which I feel like would make her close up more. So maybe like open the door to have this conversation and be like, oh, well, since you already know. What? No, why would you even think All that? right, I'm fucking up. Maybe it didn't happen and he was bullshitting us. Please don't bring Gar into this. It's none of your business. Mm. God, why can't you just mind your own business? She mutters. <laughs> Because I'm a cop. I already said I don't want to talk about this. You're messing everything up again. Again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Again. So what does that mean? No, not me. Well, and do you know who no, did? sorry. I don't. <clears throat> not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wires. Mm-hmm. So you had to have been the one. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the Union's phone, or the one on the coast. So the Union has a phone, and there's one further down the coast. Got it. Mm. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just might take a while. All right. I mean, yeah. She already, she already don't like me. So might as well. What? Of course it bothered me. But I thought the Union already knew about the court. No one calls the police. The Union would get angry. Mm, what do you mean by that? You know, what the Union says goes. People listen to them and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. Tell me why exactly. Did you let a corpse hang in your own backyard for weeks instead of calling us? Because they would have threatened her, right? Maybe someone specific threatened her? Oh, gosh. Let's try it. Fuck it. I, I didn't want to get in trouble with the others. Okay. Who are the others? Push her further. Show her the error of her ways. Damn. That makes it sound so mean. What others? The other people who live around here. Local people. I... I didn't want trouble. What trouble? What's gonna happen? Tell you me. You don't live here. You don't understand. Squealing is frowned upon here. Everything is dealt with, well, by the Union. Internally. Mm -hmm. So they on that gang stuff, huh? Please, I just didn't want any trouble. I get it. I get it. No, I'm not going to say that. You do? Oh, what else can I do for you? Yeah, go on. Um, yeah. I do hope so. Please, don't call me again. Why? Why? Why does she seem angry with you? Um... 
sure. Yes, you have obviously done something to upset her at the whirling in rags when she was still working there. <laughs> this is so this is so awkward. Are you mad at me? <laughs> like Sure. I'm not mad, it's just you were so drunk and so emotional all the time and then the skewer thing happened. It just made me want to quit. <laughs> sure. If she knows I'm drunk, then it probably makes sense why I'm asking, so... The stuffed bird. The great skewer. You threw it against the wall while screaming, Fuck that bird! And laughing like <laughs> a maniac. Yeah, it sounds like me. I think you said it had been giving you shit ever since you got there. Now I'm gonna pretend to be her, like, she's my therapist now? No. Why, why do I do everything wrong? Because you drink. You drink. You drink too much. Uh, sounds like me, all right. It didn't seem like you had fun doing it, though. Hmm. I mean, that just makes it so awkward, you know what I mean? Nah, bro. That's so like, nah, bro. Thank you. you. Hear a sigh of relief on the other end of the radio. Wordless, the call breaks. Then, the already familiar voice. Anything else I can help you with, officer? <laughs> call her back. <laughs> um. Sure. As always, it's DJ Mesh and Felatio, and you're listening to nah, come on, bro. Freaks FM, bringing you the hottest, the nastiest, the most vulgar. A flock of seagulls takes off nearby, startled by the Kim. What was rain. that? So that's what you like, huh? They think they're so, they're so. DJ Mesh and Felatio. Okay, bro. Right away, the lieutenant reaches into the cabin and turns off the radio. He's not looking at you as he says. Someone must have been messing with the radio or maybe picked up a random frequency. You wanted the prime line, right? <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to call him out on it. He was nice when I was all drunk and throwing up and stuff. I'm not going to be mad just because he likes to listen to fellatio. If you want to listen to Felatio, bro, that's your right. That's your right. You got to cut loose with something. You have to have something. Yeah, bro. Precinct 57, how may I assist you? Uh, I'm done, bro. 57, over and out. Oh, I was supposed to um report my badge missing. Fuck. In the cabin. Um, maybe the flashlight might be used. It's robust. Weatherproof and well made. Police issue blue. Let's you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss. I I I had to roll for that. I had to roll for that. What what did your flashlight do? Hold on. Roll, 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 roll. Little foley there. You like that? <laughs> Welcome to Ivashol. All right, racist lorry driver. That's that's just your your descriptor. That's all you got. I can tell because that caved in head, like right there, right there is where the ability to not be racist is supposed to be in the brain. And I don't know, he must have got dropped as a kid. But, but, we haven't actually talked to him yet. The descriptor could be wrong. You never know. Okay. The remark isn't addressed to you, it's addressed to the lieutenant. Okay, so... You look white. Kim looks Asian. Katsuragi. Okay. Welcome to Rivershoal. 
Um, I mean, there was saying welcome because he's not from here. There's nothing inherently wrong with that. I mean, this sounds so stupid. Sure, play Don't dumb. Don't you welcome to Revachol me? My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Oh, okay, okay. Every school of thought and government has failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. Yeah, you, you tell him, Kim. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. Mm-hmm. Preach! What he means is, fixation on the Revacholian nation makes it harder for Revachol to actually attain self-determination. Yet again, you're never helpful. Keep biting your t-shirt, bro. Um... Yeah. Oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Rivachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. Oh, is it? I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here. That I should watch myself. I don't know, bro. Behave. This this might be a leap, but uh, Kim's been real nice to me. So if he, if he wants smoke, I want smoke too. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCN. It's actually my job to make sure oh. you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Yeah, Kim said, don't get fucked up over it. Are you willing to die for it? Huh? Silence. The air between them yeah. becomes tense. We're not getting anything from this guy, by the way, your because of that. needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Uh... Um, I mean, maybe we can intimidate him now that that's settled, you fucking scumbag. Whatever you say, officers. Mm -hmm. He smells of heavy motor oils and his breath of high tar content cigarettes, probably <laughs> Astro. Oh, I hate you so much. I don't need to know the brand. <laughs> Uh, what was that argument all about? What argument? The one we just had? About him being racist? About River Shoal? I swear, bro. You been sneaking drinks? What are you hauling, bro? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but uh, the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. Okay. What are you Apples. Apples, bro. I don't know, brother. Apples is exactly the kind of thing you'd right. say if you had some right. Um, fair enough. <laughs> I won't question that. Apples, bro. You had all this time sitting on your butt, and apples was the best you could do. Fine. Fuck off! I misclicked. Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo. Apples. Apples. Yeah. That's exactly. Okay. The kind of thing you I'm glad. I'm glad it let me redo it. it. I misclick, bro. Apples, bro. Yeah, apples. I take it you had other questions. Hell no, brother. No, run it back. Oh, not much anymore. I'm apples. Run it back apples. one more time. Exactly That's a cover you. story. As detective. I come from a long line of lorry men. We got ancient rights and privileges. <laughs> oh, I'm here to pick up a load of fucking apples, man. Just regular koi koi picked apples. Mm -hmm. Now watch, they're gonna tell me koi picked apples or apples picked from koi. What you do is you extend your hand and then you. You take the apple and you pick it from the tree, and so that's that's why they call it picking. Koiko may be another derogative for a person from Grad, you think? Yep, it's one of their main exports. 
They grow them down south here, Kokata. A beautiful <laughs> place. Got great scenic vistas. <laughs> These aren't actual places, are they? Yo, Kokota. <laughs> I like it, man. I like it. In fact, Yokokata is a desolate wasteland whose name literally translates uh -huh. to Zone of Ecological Catastrophe. It features no scenic vistas and supports virtually no Yeah, you stupid life. fuck. I got you now. I'm well read, bitch. Yeah. Yeah? Says who? Then, I guess they grow apples somewhere else. You can never really tell with those koi koi's. They're everywhere, except their own homes. Okay, bro. <laughs> Go back to where you're from. <laughs> he means the people living in Grad. Okay. Yeah, you know, Grad Nix, Grad Volk, those degenerates from Grad. Okay, so that's a slur. That's definitely a slur. <laughs> right. Cause that's what they're all called. Koiko Pichik, Loslav Koiko, Koikovich, somewhere. Ah, damn. Low self esteem, those guys have. Mind you, they look occidental, but they are not uh, really. Wow. Living up, living up to your descriptor, brother. Hey, if the name and description fit by the very grace of nature, who am I to say otherwise? He said he's been sitting on his ass all day, so he probably doesn't even have. Well, it's not actually apples, but. Uh, did you miss the part where I said they yeah. aren't here yet? Besides, even if I did have some, I wouldn't go putting my nose in them, huh? Relax. Why not? You've got all you can get here. He probably doesn't even know what he's hauling, even if it is something unsavory. So he'd remain unaccountable. Uh, what argument are. No. I just asked that question. <laughs> sure, to, uh, this guy is gonna be like, well, see the fucking foreigners. <laughs> oh yeah, they're a big deal. My great grandfather was a carter, mm. and a royal license and everything. We've tried to hold on to our privileges. Yeah, what's a carter? <laughs> Someone with a cart. What yeah. did you think it was? That's how watch your tone, though, brother. Story, our thing reaches watch your tone. Before machines. Uh, <sighs> not at all. We are part of a guild and everything, huh? It's very ancient, very prestigious. So it's kind of a union, huh? Like the one here, Hell no. killing people. It's a guild, invitation only. Unions work for the rich fucks. They're basically the same. Been trying to fuck us out of our heritage. In the name of profit, but you can't replace experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trusting street thugs with their goods is going to fuck him right up the ass. Mark my words, generations of practice and no laughing matter. What argument? I'm pretty sure they're talking about what we just talked about. Uh, it's about biological determinism, natural law, the sorting of the races. Oh my god, bro. You're a Nazi. Not the most popular topic nowadays, with a coalition in charge and all. You might want to change the topic. That is, bury your head under the sand like common sheep. So you're a racist. I'm not just racist. Look, I oh. like books. <laughs> the science of... <laughs> oh my god, this dude is sitting here with a dent in his fucking head, talking about phrenology. Be real. You've only studied these things I said after you and me. I should tell you about Look at yourself, bro. Naturally, we occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see your merits in that. Look at yourself. Open your eyes. Haven't you noticed something different lately? An unfortunate downtown? Maybe oh my god, bro. Windows of the superior eyes cease to be in Show me the combat systems. Competing for resources. Show me the combat system, please. Show me the combat system. This concerns you, policeman, so you better be vigilant. The damn tips are showing up good. Oh, man. I should have asked. Mosquitoes. And the other entrepreneur species, too. They're on the precipice of cultural victory. Cultural victory? What is this then? It's what the kids of Moody Street are going for, right under our noses. And the others too, on the radio. Heard any chanson lately? Heard any motetos or leader? No. Dominating culture is how they plan to win. This is so themselves. It's true. Also, you need to realize the dangers of mixing races. Who knows what might happen if people don't stay in their first place? 
You might end up with a new sub-ice. We have known dry tasties. We've been through extra competition. That's why you've got to come Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. This, this game really goes for it. I'm very... I'm... I guess the word I'm gonna say is impressed. Yeah, little kids calling us the F slur. Now you got this, like, Twitter user. This is a Twitter blue user for sure. No. Don't push your luck, Rent. Or what? Cause Kim, Kim already don't like your ass. So, so it can really go down if we wanted to. You said don't stay too long. I stay as long as I want, bitch. Can I, can I talk to you? Hey, OG. Scott? You're hazy on the notion of a scab. Smells like politics, though. Maybe it's got something to do with the flask he reaches for from time to time. A kind of a worm. Content with mere survival. They come, they want to do our job for shittier pay, screwing over both themselves and us. Everybody loses. Mm. Gotta be bloody stupid or freaking evil to scab. Or I guess, scared, maybe. But scared of what? Of who? Personally, I'd rather beg than scam. If the gentlemen shouting on the street came begging, maybe they'd have gotten something. We've explained the matters, but they don't listen. This lot would be reasonable and go home if the big guy wasn't riling them up all the time. Right. Pretty obvious. Big guy. He means the leader of the scabs. By the way, I'm a cop. I was just messing with you. No one's ever seen a cop scab. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. <laughs> Speaking of, what brings the RCM here, to the wild north? Come to see the strife? Um, I feel like he'll get a little bit on edge if I ask about that dead person. My friend, I respect the right to roam. The open range awaits. I don't operate in that capacity. I'm not a grantor of passage. The passage grants itself. If it's so simple, why did the scab leader warn you of the guards blocking the way? Mm. I walk right past Measurehead and go in. Uh, if I do, are you gonna kill me? Yeah, the two and a half meter tall Semini Supremus is there. Walk right past him. Okay. Yeah. Then press the button to unlock the door. Right. Then go past him again. Okay. And you enter the arbor through the office. Está. The man whispers a jaunty All right, bro. A Do you think you smart? This is all good, here. though. If I go up there, they're gonna kill me. Let's find out. Hey. Hi, bro. Nobody betrays your degeneracy. All right, this guy's not somebody that talks a lot. You can tell from the voice. Yeah, Measurehead. His body totally betrays his degeneracy. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm that a cop. Is size, the negligence that has led you to succumb to Al Ghul. What is Al Ghul? Oh, alcohol. <laughs> and you the sword of Al Ghul emerges from your throat. Right. You cannot see it, but others can. It is making the woman in my company sick. No, you don't. You need to get another drink. Occidental Aplo Group B4 is done giving orders around here. The influence of the ham sandwich race is waning. Ham sandwich race? Oh my gosh. Y'all like, y'all racist for real over here. There may be a peaceful solution to this. You could internalize Meshachet's race theory. 
he would take you as one of his own. Sure, let's try it. Well, not as such. What you do with the mastery of advanced race theory is up to you. You could reject the findings, sure, or accept them and become an advanced racist. <laughs> the best racist, sure. Sure, I'm a racist now. Ask what kind of races there are first. Classification is core to this stuff. Yeah, help me. Help. So, like, who exactly do I hate and why? Please. All right, so I'm doing a voiceover because, man, that dude can talk. You can either be a racist or you can be long-winded, but you can only pick one. So I watched it over and I got a breakdown of the the different races that he talked about. The T O T P in the file C F race golden of Pradash thirty or whatever, right? Okay, so first is type T A. That's heroic. This is the race section that he likes, and there's three main races in there: the Seminese, the Aeropagite, and the Occidentals, right? Now the Occidentals, according to him our third place to the Simonese and the Aeropagite, right? They are on the way down. He is Simonese, right? Within the Occidentals, there are the Vespertines, the, M the Messinians, the Meteorans, and the Suracene, right? And also the North Cognic Steiners, right? The important thing with the Occidentals is that it does not include the Mon, M A U N and apparently it don't it doesn't include them because they have eczema and they're lactose intolerant which makes them bad. Okay, so after them there's Tipa, they're servile races, right? These are according to him amorphous non-competitors that are mud colored, right? Within this is the Koikos and the Vacholeres, right? The Koikos interestingly enough uh, include countries like the Yugo, the Ziminsk, I don't know if that's right, and the Shest, right, which are what you would call white, right? Uh, he calls them mud color, not because of their skin, but because of their souls. Apparently, their souls are bad, right? They like potatoes, which is not a good thing. You're not supposed to like potatoes, according to him. And then there's the Vacholeres. These are Revacholians, which is actually a mix between Teep A races and the racial cauldron that we'll get to in a second. Koikos have ethnostates, which is also a bad thing. Finally, there's the Type C through F vowel race cauldron of Pederasty, right? And it's important that you cannot ask about this one before you learn about A and B. This one is basically mixed folk, right? Any two races that come together. Two examples that he gave was the Mosquito, which is a combination of the Mesk people and the Simonese. I think he said it can only work if, the, if it's a Simonese man and a uh, Mesk woman, and then they're like infertile or some shit. He'd just be making stuff up. And then there's the Seminokokich. Chimera, which is between a Simonese person and a Koikos. Uh, they tried to make hyper workers and it didn't work. But essentially, these are mixed folk. So, yeah, it, it, it took what? This is maybe a minute. And he took, I swear, he took 40 minutes to explain all this crap. Kim, bro, what's your thoughts about this? Please save I think us. This racist is better than the last. But the next racist will be the really good one. That will be the. He will grant us three wishes. Your pedomorphic friend has quick wits. A protruding occiput and an indented zygomatic bone. What? <laughs> That's some high level racism, bro. What does that even mean, bro? The lieutenant does not flinch. Kim is about that action. You should keep him close. The congenital defect of farsightedness does not render him a complete invalid. He still has the use of his mind. Oh no. If I ask this question... What would I want more? To get knocked out by him because I tried to box him? Or to listen to another stupid race argument that explains his tattoos. E 
<laughs> Cop suffers final heart attack. Oh Detective my god. Of the RCS <laughs> passed away yesterday. Peaceful Just death, really. Though abrupt. I feel like that's an improvement. The first time I died because a kid insulted me and my feelings got hurt. This time, a strong buff racist guy squeezed my arm and gave me a heart attack. So we're getting better. Why didn't Kim up the blick, bro?